Hi, so admittedly, I left you a bit high and dry last episode about this Hubless fan. Uh, most notably, we didn't test it to destruction like I said I, I wanted to. <laughs> to be honest, it's because it worked so much better than I had planned for it to work. I didn't really want to destroy it. But then after I released that video, I realized, you know, I could just make another one. It, it's not that hard. But I'm glad we didn't because it gave me time to read through some of your guys' comments. And I think today we're going to take a look at some of your guys' requests. Try them out on this thing. Most of them have to do with trying to make it quieter using some sort of lube. And I have a few of the ones you guys recommended. Then we're going to just crank up the power. I'm going to pump as much power as I can physically get in this room into this fan to see if it one spins faster or just grenades itself. And then I have, you know, another request that I seen at least once. It's a little weird, but seems like a good time. So the first one we should talk about is this gun oil. This is hops number nine. Now I didn't make mention of this in the last video, but I actually did use a little bit of this lubricant on the bearing track. Now I didn't want to overdo, I wanted to put some lubricant in it. I didn't want to just run dry, but I didn't want to gunk it up. So I just used just a little bit of this around the perimeter of this fan. So this was actually tested last time and it was still like 92 de decibels. But I didn't, I forgot to mention this to you guys. So you didn't know. So this one was the one that was recommended or people asked for some gun oil, try that out. Another one that popped up quite a bit was graphite powder. And I, I actually hate using this stuff. It gets everywhere. It's super annoying. I just don't like graphite powder. It, it might work good. And then I saw some people saying silicone, silicon, silicon lubricant. And then this one popped up a ton. White lithium grease. Now, if I'm honest, I'm not going to take this thing apart after every different lube to clean it all out because that'd be way, way too much work. Now, if one is like super promising, maybe we'll do it, but I don't, I don't imagine these are going to calm this thing down that much. So we're going to start on the light side. Uh, the gun oil, since there's already some in there, then we'll, we'll move to this silicon because that's pretty light stuff. Then this crap because it sucks. And then this is the thickest, the thickest boy. And this will be the last one. And then after we're done making a mess, we'll see if there was a difference between any of these. So here's how we're going to give us a, a test here. I got the same power supply as before, 12 volts, 5 amps. Fan is on a little piece of sandpaper to just keep it in one spot, hopefully, and mark where it is. I got a little tripod with a, a DB meter here. Right now, it's just as it was at the end of last video, so still has a little bit of gun oil in it, but that's about it. We'll use this as our baseline. Not bad, just about the same decibel level. Uh, the, the RPMs are a little faster, but we're gonna just freshen up our hops number nine gun oil, see if it makes a difference here. I'll be more generous than I was last time. Fresh coating of hops number nine. Much quieter, but much slower. 450, eh? Well, that doesn't make me feel too excited about the next one. Well, things aren't going according to plan. Ah, uh, the, the, the gun oil made things slower. I did run it out though. I, I put a little IPA in there, spun the fan for quite a while to get some of it to work out. We're back up to kind of where we were. Uh, almost 3000 RPM sound levels, almost back up to like 90. Uh, but I noticed, and you probably noticed this as well, this power supply can't really give us what we're asking for. We want 12 volts at five amps, but it's only able to put out like six and a half, seven volts at five amps. So rather than move to the other greases and lubricants and maybe make this thing even worse, I want to, uh-oh, we might have a problem, boys. Did we die already? That's a problem. I did, while I was running this out, I, I took out my thermal, kind of looked at it through the, through the FLIR, and things were, were getting toasty, and I was a bit concerned because this is made out of PLA, and I was afraid if things got a little too warm, stuff might let go. And I didn't think that we had let go. I did mess around with a bunch of other power supplies off camera. Well, they were on camera, but it was pretty boring. I tried a PC power supply, no, nothing great from that. Uh, I tried a different PC power supply, nothing great from that. I took this up to 24 volts, still same problems, not able to put that much out. And I just now noticed that something, something's touching something. So we're gonna have to pull this open to see what's going on and see if it's fixable before we move on. Because I do have something that can put out the power we need, but if we're already broken, that's not helpful. Who put that many screws in this design? Interesting, it seems like just one of the tabs, so I wrapped this coil around a little T 
T-type shape, and it seems like one of the top of those T's has kind of bent over somehow, or started to break off, and it's just touching. So I think we can get rid of it, because I did put a little bit of super glue on each one of these coils to hold it in place, so we shouldn't need it, really. I don't understand how, it, how that happened, to tell you the truth. Well, that snowballed quickly. As you can see, I have removed the entire coil assembly because when I was looking through the fan to see how each one of these tines looked, I noticed that every single one of them were touching or very close to touching uh, the fan itself. And my theory is, is that when I was assembling this, the side, that's the top side, the side touching the table now, I had placed a little bit of glue to hold everything in place. The bottom side facing you, I did not. I figured the tine would be enough to hold everything nice and tightly wound, which uh, wasn't the case. The coils all started to work their way inwards or the flux lines bent the tabs inwards. Something happened, some sort of magic happened where things were starting to undo themselves. So I've gone through and removed every single one of those tines, went back, placed a little bit of glue on each one of these coils to try to hold it in place. Now we're just gonna wait for this to dry. It's gonna take about 24 hours. This is the gel type, it's not quick set. And then hopefully when we put this back in the fan, everything will be able to run nice and uh, smooth or as smooth as it can again. And we'll be able to continue on with our very scientific testing. But this is good. We now learned another crucial design flaw in the original fan to hopefully make version two that much better. Okay, we're, we're back up and running. Seems like everything is, seems about, you know, seems about what it was before. Uh, I guess we'll move on with these lubes just to get them out of the way. I don't know if we'll see much difference, but we got to give them a try. I think I'm going to do this, this graphite stuff next. I hate it the most, so might as well get it over with. And based on what we learned with the gun oil, I think we're going to go light. Light is going to be our friend, so I'm just going to try to get a little bit of this stuff in here without making a huge mess, which I'm already failing at. And we'll see how it goes. Looks about the same. Uh, RPM is a little bit down, sounds about the same. This is the silicone lubricant. I just put a little bit in this bottle, it's really thin, so let's get a little bit in there. Maybe with all these lubes on top of each other, we'll create a super lubricant. Or it's making it worse. All right, so all this different lubricant is definitely having an adverse effect, but why not just add a little more? So this is some white lithium grease. We'll pack some of that in there. <laughs> Everybody that said, why don't you lube it to make it quieter? I'm sure this is exactly what they had in mind. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. I mean, it's quieter, but it's way slower. <laughs> I mean, should we even take an RPM reading at this point? Well, I don't know if we actually learned much from that, but I still think that for this specific setup, like a heavier grease really isn't going to be the best, especially given our limited power output. I think how I had it originally set up when I first built it was, you know, pretty much everything dry with just a few, few touches of the uh, gun oil around the outside, I think that was the best setup. You guys probably would have agreed if I had told you that is what I'd done. Um, before we move on to trying some other stuff, I guess I'll try to clean some of this up, get it kind of back to how it was originally. So that'll be fun. I got it cleaned up a bit. I do think I hear a flat spot or something in the, in the bearing raceway. It's definitely, it doesn't feel as smooth as it used to. So I think the heat is getting to us uh, and we're starting to break down the PLA. But, for now, I think we're gonna try to get it to go a little faster if it's on its way out. So I think I'm gonna try to use this battery. Now it's still set to full speed. I'm just gonna touch, touch the leads on the plus and minus to see if that's a good idea or not. I see smoke. Who's dying? So that might not be the best thing for it. <laughs> Uh, better or worse idea? I mean, lower voltage, but is it better? I don't know. It doesn't seem much faster though, does it? Well, how are we gonna make this thing go faster? I think we're, I 
think we're kind of screwed. This, this is really the best. Oh no, oh no. Okay, things have, something's gone wrong. Well, all's not lost. It looks like just a magnet came off. We, we don't need all those magnets. Now the balance is probably off more than it was. Let's see if it runs though. <laughs> it's on its last leg, but we got, one, we got at least one more test we gotta do. Uh, I did see somebody say in the comments that you should, well, one, a lot of people said I put my finger in there. I'm not gonna, not gonna do that. Even though it's not going that fast, it doesn't seem like a good idea, but I saw one person put hot dog and they probably said it as a joke, but they didn't know is that I have the Hot Dog Thruster 9000. So I guess we'll send it off with this. <laughs> well, the last few days have been a bit chaotic. I don't know exactly what you, what you got from this video, if anything. Uh, you, I guess you learned that this thing's a pretty decent hot dog holder. That's, that's really about it. Uh, but, you know, it's not a total loss. I did learn a few things about this design. One, the material type needs to be something a little more heat resistant if we're gonna start pushing a bunch of power through it. I should probably reconsider or just relook at how I have my coil set up. I don't know if it's a limitation of my power supply or this control board that I got off Amazon or just how I have the windings themselves. But it seems like the speed is pretty limited on this fan. Even with different power sources like this battery, the drill battery, it just wasn't able to get going much faster than it already had, which is weird to me, but maybe one of you guys knows. Just let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I, need, I know I need to get my magnets seated in there better. They're not gonna hold in there over the long term. And grease and lubricant wise, I think how I had it originally was kind of the best way to go. Just a light bit of like a gun oil or some really thin oil around the side. Don't wanna overload it. Don't wanna use anything too, too heavy. Uh, but I think that's the best way to go. The biggest problem I have is the bearing setup. Now, this is not the final design. I am, I have been thinking of ideas on how to improve it, and the first thing I need to do is figure out something other than a ball bearing. I mean, that, that works, but it's just, it's just too loud. And a lot of you, like a lot, have said magnetic levitation bearings, which is probably the most, I've ever seen that word so much in my life, except for the, in the comments section. And I've been thinking about it. I mean, I'm not writing it off. It seems a little tricky to, to pull off, but Something I am considering. If you have other ideas on what you think would be a good bearing setup, just let me know in the comments down below. Always looking for recommendations so we can make this thing as good as possible. But thank you guys all for watching. Uh, if, if this is the first video you've seen, you can go back and watch the other one if you want. If not, this fan is on my Thingiverse for you to download. You can do whatever you want with it. Make it. Put your, put your earplugs in. But have fun. See ya.